While buying a fish, if you are looking for fast-paced, playful and colorful freshwater fish, then look no further than the tiger barb. This fish is fast and fun to watch, its vibrant colors and semi-aggressive nature make it suitable for various tank communities. Typically classified as a semi-aggressive fish, as they are usually nippy and will chase down other slower long-finned fish. So before you buy a tiger barb, make sure to watch this video till the end to know how you can control their aggression and take care of them. Welcome to Finding Fishes, let's get started. Tiger barbs are feisty little fish brimming with personality. This species is a tropical freshwater fish from the Saprinidae family, which includes minnows, carps, and chubs. It is also known as the Sumatra barb, as it is native to Sumatra and Borneo. These fish are naturally found throughout Southeast Asia, and they originate in Borneo, Indonesia, and Sumatra. They require easy to moderate level of care. Tiger barbs can live up to 5 to 7 years, and can grow up to 2 to 3 inches in size. You can check out the card above for most suitable tank mates for tiger barbs. The tiger barb has a bit of a reputation for being aggressive and dominant. While it's true that they are very pushy and like to bump and bite at their tank mates, their behavior is more annoying than harmful. These fish are very competitive and will form small hierarchies where they will compete for dominance. They are showy active fish that like to be out in the open. You can watch them chase, bump, and nip at one another in the middle levels of your tank. They must be kept in a school of at least six individuals, when kept in a group too small, they are more likely to harass other tank mates. If they are kept alone or with only one other individual, they will become stressed, timid and keep themselves hidden. Due to their small size, keeping a larger school of tiger barbs does not require as much tank space as you would imagine. With that being said, tiger barbs are incredibly active fish who love to swim around, so providing them with plenty of space to maneuver at will is very important. 30 gallons is minimum we would recommend. Tiger barbs love to live in heavily planted aquariums with plenty of rocks, driftwood and ornaments to swim in and out of. Heavily planted aquariums are not a necessity, but they will help to keep your tiger barbs happy. They require tank temperature of around 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit and pH of around 6 and 7. A varied diet is best for tiger barbs. These fish are omnivores that will readily gobble up anything you provide. By giving them many different foods, you can ensure that your fish are getting all the nutrients they need. This will ultimately improve their health and even enhance their coloration. A good starting point is to provide them with standard nutrient-rich flakes or pellets. These will serve as the foundation of their diet. But every once in a while, you should provide some high-protein snacks too. Tiger barbs love brine shrimp, water fleas, bloodworms, and even beef heart. Some vegetables are important as well. Tiger barbs are temporarily paired spawners, meaning that they will choose a different mate for each spawning. They spawn multiple times throughout their lives and reach maturity at 6 to 7 weeks of age. If you are interested in breeding tiger barbs, there are a few things you need to take into consideration before doing so. First of all, tiger barbs will happily eat all of their eggs if given a chance, so if you are serious about seeing a breeding session through to completion, make sure you have either plenty of plant matter for the eggs to get lost between or a marbled bottom to allow them to sneak between the cracks. To initiate breeding, simply separate the males and the females and keep them in separate tanks for 3 to 5 days. The females need to be housed in a large marble bottom tank with a heater to keep the temperature at a consistent 80 degrees. Feed the females a high-protein diet and complete a 30% water change every day. Tiger barbs will produce hundreds of eggs and the males will follow closely behind to fertilize them all. Again, we recommend building an environment that will facilitate in hiding the eggs from the adults until they begin to hatch. The fry will develop in around a week's time and will start to swim freely anywhere up to five days after they are hatched. In terms of their diet, we would recommend brine shrimp. That's it for today guys, hope you really enjoyed the video, keep supporting us and stay tuned for more such interesting videos. Finding fishes remember the name.